God had called Peter to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they were or where they came from. So Peter shared the gospel not only with Jews, but with Gentiles. The Gentiles in Caesarea heard Peter's message and believed. God gave his Holy Spirit to these new believers, and they were baptized. Before long, the apostles and other believers throughout Judea heard the Gentiles had believed the good news about Jesus. They were surprised, so Peter shared about the vision God had given to him of the sheet of clean and unclean animals and his encounter with Cornelius. Peter explained that the gospel is for all people. Then the believers praised God and understood that Jesus had come for the Gentiles too. At the same time, Believers who scattered after Stephen's murder had traveled to places like Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch of Syria. In those places, the believers only shared the gospel with the Jews. But some believers from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch and preached the gospel to the Greeks too. God was with them, and a large number of the Greeks believed the good news. The church at Jerusalem heard about these new believers, so they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas was a good man. He loved God and was full of faith and the power of the Holy Spirit. When Barnabas arrived, he saw that God was gracious to these believers. He was glad and encouraged them to keep following God. Even more people trusted in Jesus. Then Barnabas left Antioch and went to Tarsus to look for Paul. He found Paul and brought him back to Antioch. 
They stayed with the church in Antioch for a year, teaching large groups of people. Jesus' followers were first called Christians at Antioch. Even though some people tried to stop it, the gospel spread throughout the earth, not only to Jews, but also to Gentiles. The good news about Jesus is for everyone. God calls us to celebrate when others believe and help them know and love Jesus more. Good morning. Once Peter explained his vision, the early church realized that keeping the gospel just for the Jews wasn't God's plan. The church experienced more growth as many Gentiles began to hear the good news and believe. When the church leaders in Jerusalem heard about these new believers in places like Antioch, they decided to send someone to help them live the way Jesus wanted them to live. Barnabas went to Antioch to encourage believers. He even found Paul to help him teach them and grow their faith. The Bible tells us that Barnabas' real name was Joseph. The nickname Barnabas means son of encouragement. You'd have to be a really great source of encouraging words for people to basically nickname you the encouraging guy. That was exactly what the early church needed. Christians at this time faced a lot of persecution from people who didn't believe the truth. In the middle of hard times, we all need someone to remind us of the gospel and how good God is. And what is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent his son Jesus into the world to rescue sinners. Following Jesus' death, early believers faced many hardships, but they continued sharing the good news of the gospel, just as Jesus had instructed them. Even though some people tried to stop it, the gospel spread throughout the earth, not only to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. The good news about Jesus is for everyone, God calls us to celebrate when others believe and to help them know the love of Jesus more. Let's pray. Father, we love you because you are good and you love us. Thank you for all you have done and all that you will do. Help us to be encouraging to one another and to lift one another up to love and to worship you. Amen. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for questions from kids. Parker from Buffalo, Wyoming asks, I'm just a kid. How can I encourage others to follow Jesus? Parker, that is a good question, but I need to correct one thing about it. You're not just a kid, you're a kid. Kids matter, you have worth and value. And if you've trusted to follow Jesus, then you have a story to tell just like any adult and have that ability. So I wanna encourage you, think highly of yourself, think highly of the capability you have to tell other people, your friends, even adults about Jesus. Well, how do you do that? Well, it's simply telling them your story. Tell them why you trust Jesus, why you believe in Jesus, who Jesus is to you, what difference he's made in your life. So if you tell other people that if they trust in Jesus like you have, if they believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died for their sins and rose from the dead, that they too can have eternal life like you have. That's all it really is. It's us telling other people what we've experienced, what we believe to be true about the Son of God, Jesus Christ. That's all there is to it. And again, you have the ability to do that. I want you to remember that, really take that to heart, that you can make a difference for all of eternity as a kid, just like adults can. So here's a question back for you. How have other kids encouraged you in your faith? Even though some people tried to stop it, the gospel spread throughout the earth, not only to Jews, but also to Gentiles. 
The good news about Jesus is for everyone. God calls us to celebrate when others believe and to help them know and love Jesus more.